Hello everyone! Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Now, last time we were together, we challenged the Dragon's Den, and we were able to complete it. And we got ourselves some new Pokemons for it. And I did a little training off-screen, and uh, this happened. So yeah, while I was training off-screen, I ran into Raikou. And I put him to sleep, and hit him a few times, and since it looked like he was going to stay, I, just tried, I decided to try to catch him. So here I am going through the Pokeballs, and I decide, you know what? Let's try a Heavy Ball. So fingers crossed, I throw the Heavy Ball, and... We caught him! We caught Raikou! I don't know if it's something special for this version of the game, but I'm used to them uh, running away even if they're asleep. Okay, so Raikou, the Thunder Pokemon. This rough Pokemon stores energy inside its body, then sweeps across the land, shooting off electricity. So of course now it's time to give him a nickname. And just like with uh, Suicune, which we gave the nickname Crystal, I'm giving Raikou the name Topaz. I'm not even sure if Topaz has come in the color yellow, but I thought the name fit, so that's what I went with. And Topaz is off to Bill's PC. So hey, we lucked out. We got two of the three legendary dogs. Who knows, maybe we'll have a chance to catch the third. So yeah, now we've caught Raikou, and we have Topaz on our team. Well, he's not on our team right now, but we have him ready to use when we want. And as you can see, we're back at Eureka Town, the town whose name I can never pronounce properly, which seems to be more and more of our hub town the more we play. But we're over here, because we can now go up and down waterfalls. So it's time to go back into Mount Mortar and go up the waterfall. And of course we're going to get attacked. But we've caught our one Pokemon for this area. Mayfield, what do you want? Dragon Rage, yes, that's what you want to do. Practically knocked him out with that one hit. And there's that waterfall. Now I can actually go up it with waterfall. It's a seal uses waterfall, and up we go. Now the Pokemon here shouldn't be any different. Once we get into the next room, then though they should change up. hit and hardly did any damage. I don't think there's anything to check out in the corners and stuff. You know, I think, I think I'm going to have to use a repel. There we go. That will keep some of the weaker Pokémon away. Well, Mayfield is, what, 29? So only Pokémon that are lower than 29 will be kept away. Okay, I see a trainer over this way. Ooh. What's well, tough enough that it wouldn't... Uh, 
Chop. No, I'm a choke. Ooh, a high level one, too. I like the chokes. But we've caught our one Pokemon for this area. Ooh, seismic Pulse. I think that does damage based on level. Okay, you're a fighting type, so Elvis. Get out here and use your psychic powers. Chunk of XP though. Maybe I should got a few more healing items off screen. Alright, you. Yo, Marcus! We're not Marcus. Alright, you. Are you the one that we were told about that had the dragon, uh, not the dragon, the Seedra that could uh, use Waterfall? Okay, first things first, Thunder Wave. Good, that'll keep you from moving for a while. Well, it'll slow you down at any rate. Yeah. Dragon type move on a dragon type. Let's switch it up a little bit. Who can handle this dragon? Chomps, you get out of here. There we go, Mayfield gained a level, and Mayfield should be evolving, and Hugh was defeated. Sorry, my mistake. And yes, Mayfield is evolving. And your Mayfield evolved into Dragonair. The dra this is going to be a Dragonair for a long while. It takes well into level 50 before it's going to evolve into a Dragon Knight. I'm investigating Mount Mortar. But my pal's gone AWOL. Have you seen a trainer who has a slowpoke that can use strength? Yeah, we met him a few episodes back. And look, another super high level Machoke. Well, shouldn't say that high. But high enough to do that. Elvis, I need you. Use your psychic powers to bring down the choke. Alright, 
let's mix up our Pokemon. Chomps, you're our highest level, so you're going to go up front. Surf here, might as well. We'll go exploring. Oh, there's something worthwhile. A rare candy. We can get enough of those. We can level our guys up. Especially when we get towards the end of the game. And this training takes far too long to level up. Oh, we're doing pretty good so far. It's a lot of surfing and a lot of not surfing. Good thing that I use that repel. Now it wore off. Just so we don't have to keep fighting the chokes and the champs and anybody else down here. Okay, TM40. Let's see, what is TM40? Defense curl. Escape rope. Well, we'll probably end up using one of those soon. Scale. I'm pretty sure Dragon Scale is for evolving certain Pokémon. One of those being Seedra and the Kingdra. We don't have a Seedra. Should have just jumped. over there. What do we find? A Max Repel. Max Repels last just a little bit longer than a regular old Repel. But not enough that I go around buying them. I think it's an extra 50 steps, but the cost, the cost is just so much higher. It's not worth it. Not for 50 steps. Hmm. 
Well, we are just finding goodies left and right. Some really good ones, too. Ooh, do I have enough sense to bring somebody that can move this? Yep, we got Elvis. Now, before we go that way, let's look over this way. Oh, there's somebody hiding back here. Hey! I'm the Karate King. I train alone here in the dark. You, battle with me. Rawr. Now this is the guy we were looking for. Black Belt Keo. And he sends out Hitmon Lee. A nice level Hitmon Lee too. already faster than him. Nah, Bite's not gonna cut it. Yep, hurt himself. Sir. Oh, that was good. Now I'm sending out Hitmonchan. Now, if Hitmonchan knows any good punches, this might be a problem. Alright, so he knows Ice Punch, but I don't think Ice Punch is going to cut it. No Thunder Punch, and that will cut it. You paralyzed. Dang it. Uh, no, we're just gonna use Confusion. Of course you're fully paralyzed. Confused. And Hitmonchan fainted. And Kyo was defeated. Rawr, I'm beaten. I... I'm crushed. My training is still not enough. But a loss is a loss, I admit it. As proof that you defeated me, I'll give you a rare fighting Pokémon. And we got ourselves... Triode. Um, again, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that name right. Now, we gotta give a nickname to our Triode. Now, Triode over here... can potentially evolve into a Hitmonlee a Hitmonchan or a Hitmon Top, depending on uh, his stats. So this Pokemon has a lot of potential. So what type of name do we want to give a fighting Pokemon with a lot of potential? Well, we're going to call him Baki. After Grapple Baki, who's also a fighter with a lot of potential. Ryug is a fighting type. It evolves into tougher Pokemon. Keep up the hard work. I'll keep training too. Farewell. Now, now it's time to heal. There's Baki down there. Only level 10 though. Baki is going to need some training off screen to get him to be a little tougher. 
Hell's Fex world. So let's just check out what's over here in the water. Max Repel. Oh, we're back over here, aren't we? back to where I think we are. We can just walk right out. Okay, we are all done in Mount Mortar. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly real quick over to Azalea Town. We're gonna pick up our last assortment of Poker Rolls. And Kurt. Ah, Kim, just finished your bowls. We got the level bowl. Now, I think level bowls work out better the higher level you are compared to the Pokemon you're using it on. And now that I think about it, we're going to visit Cherry Grove, too. I remember there being water over here. We find this guy. Let's say hello. A Pokemon I caught had an item. I think it's Mystic Water. I don't need it. So do you want it? Well, oh, thank you so much. Mystic Water increases the power of water moves. Back to fishing for me then. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. So I'm going to take a break and do a little training off screen. And maybe we'll have some more time before we call this an episode. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well, hello everyone. We're back. Now, we're right outside Goldenrod, and if my timing is about right, we've got about 10, 10 or so minutes before I want to call it a video, and I did a whole bunch of training off screen. So Baki is just about ready to gain his level and evolve, and we're going to find out what he evolves into. So we're going to evolve him, and I think we have enough time for maybe a few other evolutions. We might even have enough time to start a new route and catch a new Pokémon. Let's see. Well, not with Abra teleporting away like that. You know, I'm also kind of toying with the idea of Baki having a couple of kids. And then we evolve the kids into... Whatever Baki does not evolve into. So if Baki evolves into, say, a Hitmon top, he could have two kids, and we'd evolve those kids into a Hitmon Lee and a Hitmon Chan. Alright, Ratatat faded, and. Baki's level 20. Now, Baki's evolving. What is he going to evolve into? Well, those of you that know... Oh, wait! It's... It's... 
is a Hitmon Lee. Congratulations, your Baki evolved into Hitmon Lee. Now, honestly, I thought it was going to become a Hitmon Chan, if anything. So those of you who know better could probably have told by what his stats were what he was going to evolve into. But Jamie. Our Meryl is just about ready to evolve as well, so we're going to do that right now as well. Alright, Snubble. Janie, Janie, you can just wash him away. I'm doing my defense curl rollout trick. Rollout should be a little stronger because we just used defense curl beforehand. But that was enough to put Snubble down. That was also enough to gain a level. Jamie is evolving. And she became an Azumarill. And there's just one left. That's Sweetums. Sweetums gonna smash and stomp. Polly Wally Frocky gonna have an awful bump. I don't think that's how the song goes. Maybe it's smash and bash. Polly Wally Frocky gonna have an awful bash. Oh, poor Sweetums. You still need one more fight, huh? There you go, you can fight Snubble. Now, let's see. Now, Double Slap is a normal move. So let's use Water Gun. Ooh, almost enough to put him down. What's this? Rain Dance. Rain Dance boosts the power of water moves, and it also makes... Uh, certain electric moves more likely to hit. Well, no reason to hang on the bubble, although bubble does lower speed. And Sweetums is evolving. Alright, well, we are all done evolving those two, uh, three, actually. We actually have a few more evolutions we can do. But before we do that, please allow me to check something. Alright, well, I was thinking of evolving Sweetums with our Water Stone. 
but upon reflection, I don't think that is the right thing to do. Sweetums has a few more moves it can learn. So instead, we're going on the Route 35. And we're going to try to catch one more Pokemon before we pull out a video. I see some grass over here. I also see more grass over here and a cave. Alright. It's... Ooh, a gravel. I would actually like to catch a graveler. The thing, though, is... Will the graveler blow itself up? Eh, it can't hit me with magnitude. I fly. Of course you blew up. Well, I guess that means no Pokemon for us here, but hey, we got an elixir. And we might as well just poke our heads over here and see what's up. I saw a trainer this way. Be prepared for anything. Let me see if your Pokemon have been raced properly. Alright, Eric. And Eric's a hiker. So yeah, fighting types and rock types. Now Stacy can fly, so she should be able to handle his fighting types, no problem. Yep. This Stacy is evolving. And our Stacy evolved into Pidgeot. So, not so bad. We got four evolutions in this video, and we picked up one new Pokemon. Now, what do you gotta say, Eric? I'll head back to Blackthorn's ice path and train some more. That's not a bad idea, in fact, we may do the same thing. Because we're going to pull an episode now. When we get back together next time, we'll finish exploring Route 45 and see how far south it goes. Catch you then!